Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave your comment below. And also don't forget to click on the notification bell for more videos. Enjoy your reading. Let's do a quick recap from the last chapter. I understand that it's better for Sangye not to encounter them. But why can't I? Why can't you? Is that really a question you are asking? You are literate, knowledgeable in medicine and possess Godwood seeds and a unique physique. So all these are the reason why you shouldn't cross their path. You are a bigger trouble than Sangye. We absolutely can't let others find out. Oh, I see. Ah, I got an idea, as always. Why don't we set up a place outside to host the temple's people? Let's not allow them to stay in the Rocky Mountain. So that's the idea she got. Will it work? That's a good idea. So they all agree that the idea they should adopt. So guys, this is now the beginning of our new chapter. In 10,000 Beast City, upon hearing the news of the deaf blood disease, immediate precautions were taken. All entry and exit points of the beast city were sealed, and strict checks on those coming in and out were enforced. Just like the COVID-19. The main city temple issued orders to swiftly control the spread of the death plow disease. The temple dispatched a large number of divine messengers to various tribes to resist the disease. All the largest tribes in this forest, the Rock Wolf tribe, also had to accept the temple's assistance for the disease to not spread, I guess. Meanwhile, in the territory of Alien Demon Tribe, what is happening there? This jellyfish is different. So they are busy praying. Elder, how is it going? So this is saying his uncle asking. Priest Dawi. The Lord Father has heard our sounds. That's that's great. Lord Dawi, let's offer the sacrifice quickly. I don't know which sacrifice they're talking about. Offer the sacrifice to Lord Father. Lord Father, bless us. So these are the sacrifices they are making. So 
so the jellyfish is just swimming in it. Lord Fire and so cool. Lord Father, respond to the summon. So they are summoning something. This person who is dragging his leg. Oh, it's the artist. He's busy piling up something. Huang Huang said the painting could be preserved longer if being carved on the stone. So he stayed in there. He still thinking of Huang Huang. Huang Huang, I want to etch you into my mind forever. So he doesn't want to forget Hong Kong. Someone is calling me. In the past, people summoned me, but I never responded. The outside world was not different from this sea of illusion for me. So, maybe this should really be the time when he will go. However, this time I finally have a reason to live. I want to go out and find Hon Hon. I will find her and bring her back to the sea of illusion. We'll never part again. So this kid, he's not really a kid. He, have, he has a lot of ambitions. So he's about to be kicked out of that sea of illusion. What's the point of this ceremony for the Lord Father, who never responded before? So why is that it like this never worked out before? Why are we trying? Apparently he's, he has seen something that is different from all the other ceremony they have, they had before. That's all for this chapter. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave your comment below. And also, don't forget to click on the notification bell for more videos. Bye!